Hello guys, my name is Abbas and welcome to Master Coding Channel. We are going to continue the Android Jetpack course. In this tutorial, we are, will continue making the database uh, class inside the Room app. So, to create a database, we need to define an abstract class that extends the Room database. This class is annotated with underscore uh, or uh, at database list the entities contained in the database and DAOs which access them we see in the previous videos the DAOs and we have created the model class and the or the entity class for our note taking app so if this is your first time here on our YouTube channel please subscribe below to uh, and hit the bell so you don't miss any uh, new tutorials and if you are is a sub subscriber or you like the content, please like it and comment below if you have any questions. So back to Android Studio. We will go to the, the folder and we create a node database class. So I will call it node database. Okay, first of all, as I told you, because we are using the room database and architecture component, so we are going to annotate this class as our database. So we are specifying the entities equal the note dot class. I am specifying the 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 columns. So uh, what what I am doing doing here i'm just telling the system the android studio that hey this is uh, our class this is the database and we have the entities the columns go to note.class and get the columns so if i click control plus left click i will go to the note and which i previously annotate it as our entity class so remember we are telling the you the database that this class represents the database having the entities having the columns as note dot class so go to note dot class and get the columns which are the long id the note id the content title and date of type string and date so it's very simple if you don't understand, please comment uh, comment below uh, for for any questions so I can uh, help you. And we are specifying the version of this Android. So type converter, specifying also the type converters and the database database data data room room converter dot class so i'm going to create now a class called data room converter and specifying here new java class called data converter so this class if will function as the, uh, the converter for uh, for type converters so what i mean i will annotate type converter and type converter and public static date to date importing and long specifying long value and returning here the value of equal 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 to null go and check null equal to new date and value okay so in this way we are done specifying to uh, specifying and converting to date the long value the argument now also just another one type converter 
and public class uh, public static sorry long uh, too long and date value long uh, date value and returning return value equal equal to null and specifying here uh, for null value dot get time okay till now we are have finished the data room and we are uh, clear to uh, start making uh, and adding the code for our node database so node database i will extend it and make it as an abstract abstract class and extends room database so i am capable now to use the uh, the uh, functionality of room database public abstract also an abstract class uh, note or object note object node dao get node dao okay also another private static node database node db okay we are fine now we are going to synchronize uh, it because we to avoid concurrent access in multi-threading uh, environment so what i'm talking now we are going to specify telling the the uh, system to check and avoid uh, multi-threading uh, uh, multi-threading access and concurrent access in multi-threading environment so public static and in this in this form i'm going to set the synchronized synchronized and synchronized node database get instance and the passing the const at the context okay so the context here as, as, as i told you context so importing it and and checking if null equal equal to a note db then note db equal to build build data base instance instance context okay and returning the node db so what i have been missing here the bold database cannot resolve because okay so cannot resolve because it is the the method that we are going to create a last step here so under underneath this we are going to specify private static node db node database and our build and passing the context as an argument and here we go this is the our class uh, the, the method and returning the database builder 
context and note database dot class and constants dot db name these are the variables uh, or the arguments that we are passing to the to the database builder uh, constructor allow main queries and dot build and just last small tiny uh, avoid method clean up clean up and we specify here the node db equal to null okay so till now we have finished uh, adding every single element inside our database so uh, inside the database so we are removing going to remove this and we have learned in this uh, video how to create the class the note uh, database class and uh, and annotate it with the correct and exact annotation specifying the columns the version and we have added the data room converter and we have used the uh, by extending the room database we have used the room database uh, functionalities and uh, characteristics so we have added the get uh, instance uh, method to get an instance of the, our database and we have created a private static node database method or uh, class that will return this uh, uh, th this uh, by building an object of room database and last we have uh, created a cleanup method thank you guys i hope you subscribe like and comment below on our youtube channel master coding channel and uh, uh, rate us five stars on udemy and rate us five stars on play store by downloading master uh, android and master coding uh, apps master flutter and master android apps uh, pro uh, apps uh, from play store thank you guys see you in the next videos